Hello students, today I want to welcome you to another math lesson and in today's lesson we're going to solve a bill that has to do with water bill and it says use the information provided to calculate the total bill for water consumption as shown. Remember you can subscribe for quick access to all the videos that will be posted. Then the bill says the details of the bill, you have the administrative fee $10 per month, water charges at 3 cents per gallon. Tax charges, 12.5% or 12.5%. Then the reading and the end date. So the previous reading is 14,293. And the present reading is 19,273. Then A says, calculate the total number of gallons of water used. B says, calculate the water charges. C says, include the administrative fee. D, calculate the tax, and E, calculate Mr. John's total bill. So in order for us to start in solving a bill, the first thing we want to cover is A, that says calculate the total number of gallons of water used. And in order for us to find the amount of water used, it's the present amount minus the previous reading. And that will give us the total number of gallons of water used. So let's start our problem with that. Okay, so A, it's 19,273 gallons minus 14,293 gallons. Then you want to minus that. And when you minus that, that's going to give us a total number of gallons of water Use. So let's minus our present from our previous to get the total gallons of water used. 3 minus 3 is 0. 7 from 9 can. Borrow from the 2. The 2 becomes 1. This becomes 17. And 17 minus 9 is 8. 1 from 2 can't. We borrow from the 9. The 9 becomes 8. This becomes 11. 11 minus 2 is 9. And we have 8 minus 4 is Four. So if you can see, A is solved because we just wanted to find how much gallon of water used, 4,980 gallons of water. So we put gallons. Then we want to go into B of the problem. B says, calculate the water charges now. Now we want to calculate our 4,980 gallons of water that a person used and the bill says that it's 3 cents per gallon. So it's 3 cents multiplied by the amount of gallon of water that a person used and that will give us the answer for B where it has to calculate the water charges. So it's 4,980 gallons multiplied by 3 and that will give us our answer. Then we'll just move it to two decimal places. Three times zero is zero. Eight times three, 24, bring down a four, carry the two. Nine times three, 27. And two, 29, bring down a nine, carry the two. And four times three, 12, and two, 14. So to two decimal places. And when we multiply the 4,980 gallons by three cents, we got $149.40. And B is summed. And again, how do we get the answer for B? B says calculate the water charges. The person used 4,980 gallon. And when we multiply that by 3, we get 14940. But we know we're dealing with money. So it's at two decimal places. So it's $149.40. And so the water charges is a hundred and forty nine dollars and forty cents and b is solved then you want to solve c of the problem c says include the administrative fee and if you can come back to the bill it says administrative fee is ten dollars per month so in order for us to continue c so far the bill is at a hundred and forty nine dollars and forty cents for that four thousand nine hundred and eighty gallons at three cents and now we want to add the administrative fee, which is $10 to this. And so it's $149. And 
and 40 cents plus C said add your administrative fee which is ten dollars and when we add that ten dollars to that one hundred forty nine dollars and forty cents it's a hundred and fifty nine dollars and forty cents and C is solved because all C as it says include the administrative fee and so far the bill was at hundred and forty nine dollars and forty cents and when we add this ten dollars administrative fee it's a hundred and fifty nine dollars and forty cents so we put it here a hundred and fifty nine dollars and forty cents then D of the problem says calculate the tax so we want to add this twelve and a half percent or this twelve point five percent tax on the amount that we have here which the bill is a hundred and fifty nine dollars and forty cents so far when we include the administrative fee so in order for us to find the tax it's 12.5 percent and there's a rule that says whenever you're finding 12.5 percent of any amount so the 12.5 change to 25 over 200 times the amount 159 dollars and 40 cents over one so you see we're setting up the problem to find the tax and 12.5 percent the rule is just 12.5 convert that to 25 over 200 times the amount that you're looking for and the amount that the bill is at at the moment is 159 dollars and 40 cents so we're going to cancel out 25 into 25 1 25 into 200 is it so the final part that we want to do with this bill in order for us to find a tax amount is to divide this hundred and fifty nine dollars and forty cents by eight after we cancel out so it's eight divided by a hundred and fifty nine dollars and forty cents eight could go into fifteen one time one times eight is eight and fifteen from eight seven bring down your nine and eight could go into seventy nine nine times and eight times nine is 72 and when we minus 79 from 72 we left with seven eight cannot go into seven so you add your decimal then you bring down your four eight could go into 74 nine times and eight times nine is 72 and 74 minus 72 is two it cannot go into two so we bring on our last number bring on the zero and it could go into 20 two times and eight times two is 16 and we'll stop there because you stop at two decimal places so if you can see 12.5 percent of 159 dollars and 40 cents is 19 dollars and 92 cents so it's 19 dollars tax and 92 cents so again how did we find our tax our tax that we're looking for is 12 and a half percent which is 12.5 percent of 159 dollars and 40 cents and then in order for us to continue when it comes to the tax convert a 12.5 percent to 25 over 200 and then you just multiply it by the amount that you're looking for so 12.5 we change that to 25 over 200 which is the rule times $159.40 that the bill is at at the moment then when you cross multiply 25 into 25 1 25 into 208 and when we divide 8 into $159.40 we get $19.92 which is the tax the amount that will go to the government on the bill then to finalize the problem it says E calculate Mr. John's total bill so in order for us to calculate Mr. John's total bill, it's the amount that we stop at the moment plus our tax and the bill is finalized. So it's $159.40 plus $19.92. And we just need to add that and that will give us the total of the bill, which is 100 and seventy nine dollars and thirty two cents so again zero plus two is two 
4 plus 9 is 13, bring down a 3, carry the 1, 9 and 9, 18 and 1, 19, bring down a 9, carry the 1, 5 plus 1, 6 and 1, 7, then 1 plus 0, total is $179.32. So we put it here where it says total bill, $179.32. And 32 cents. So the amount that we're going to pay on a total bill is $179.32. So let's do a quick review. Remember the first step we did in order for us to find our amount, it's always a present minus a previous. And when we minus is 19,273 from the 4,293, it gave us 4,980 gallons of water that the person used. Then B says calculate the water charges. The bill says it's three cents per every gallon. And when we multiply that 4,980 gallons of water used by three cents, we got $149.40. Then C says include the administrative fee. Based on the bill, the administrative fee is $10 per month. So we add the $10 to the $149.40. And now the bill is up to $159.40. Then D, it says calculate the tax. So the tax we know here is 12.5%, which is 12.5%. And there's a rule for 12.5% or 12.5%. 12 you just change that to 25 over 200. So we change that to 25 over 200 times $159.40 that the bill is at at the moment. And we cross multiply 25 into 25, 1, 25 into 208. Then when we divide the 8 by $159.40, we get $19.92 tax. Then for the final step, which is E, E says calculate Mr. John's total bill. And it's $159.40 plus the tax, which is $19.92. And when we add that, we got $179.32. And the problem is solved. Remember... You can subscribe to Quick Access to all the videos and lessons that will be posted. Thanks so much for tuning in. Share this video with a friend.